Now, the Wabash Valley's most accurate and reliable newscast continues with Storm Team 10's Eric Stidman. All right, so bitter cold, and that seems like something we've been saying for probably the last few days, and it's something that we'll probably be saying for a few more days, I'd imagine. And I know the Storm Team, you guys have been kind of talking about even a little bit of snow still coming in the forecast. Uh. The idea that this cold weather is not really going to go away, and Eric, you just mentioned a moment ago, we're going to have a little bit of a warm-up, but I don't know if you'd really call this a warm-up. Listen, the meteorologist no. is <laughs> Hey, I listen. Like this it. means I'm listening <laughs> yes. to my meteorologist. Absolutely. So we're, we're going to climb into the 20s today, but most of us probably probably don't consider that a warm-up. Exactly. And I've said this before and I'll say it again, some people really like this weather. Well, it is True. winter and, you know, this is winter weather. Some I mean, people have been wondering, where is winter? Mainly true. Eskimos and polar bears, <laughs> but, um, you know, uh, spring is starting to work in, I think, what, less, less than a month now or about a month and a week or so? Meteorologist. Yeah, spring happens in March. So, uh, temperature-wise this morning, well, we're off to the teens, and this is better than it was yesterday morning, and you can actually see the cloud cover helping folks out in the western portion of the News 10 viewing area. Paris has 14, Terre Haute has 13, and if you look at that cloud deck, you can see how it's just a little cooler in areas where it's clearing as opposed to out here in the southwest. Well, Flora has 23 still this morning, Olney 21, Vincennes 21, and the winds are not as bad this morning as they were yesterday. We had sustained wind yesterday, 10 miles, 10 to 15, depending on where you live. Well, this morning, Terre Haute out of the northwest at 5, Robinson out of the northeast at 8, Vincennes at 8, only at six, so the wind chill factor isn't as big of a deal as it was this time yesterday. Now this is still very cold to the skin and still can be painful if you're out in it for a long time, but still we're above zero for a wind chill. Now, as we get later into the morning, we could actually see this drop as we see some more clearing. But right now, it feels like 5 in Terre Haute, feels like 14 in Paris, but all these places with the cloud cover, they're doing all right this morning. Well, here's the bigger picture, and we were talking about this upper level lower, this air in the upper atmosphere mixing around over the Great Lakes. This is finally, finally loosened its grip on us and we'll start to have a little bit of clearing for Thursday so we'll have some sunshine out there today but I'm also keeping my eye on this if you look up here by Bismarck you can see there's just a little bit of snow up here this is going to follow the jet stream and not that you would ever care about the jet stream but the weather follows the jet stream and you can kind of see how it's banking its way in so as we get into our overnight tonight and into our Friday morning we'll see this right here begin to move into the Wabash Valley. Now that's a long way to go, but still, as we get into our evening hours, it's going to play a factor. For today though, mainly clear, a few clouds out there. Partly cloudy is what I'm going with because we'll have some upper atmosphere clouds out there this afternoon. Here's seven o'clock tonight and you can see the clouds start to build back in from the west to the east. And temperature wise today, a little better but not a whole lot of relief. So 24 will be the daytime high for Terre Haute today, 23 in Rockville, 23 in Paris, 26 in Vincennes, and always just a little warmer on that southern tier of the News 10 viewing area. But then we start talking about our snow chances moving in on Friday. So here's 7 o'clock tonight, Eastern. As we go through our overnight hours, boom. 5 o'clock in the morning, you can start to see that snow builds in. So if you live in Casey, Vincennes, Olney, Flora, you'll start to see these snow showers develop. Five Eastern, four Central. And we talked about this yesterday and I said, well, the timing's a little tricky. The models have all come together now, coming a little bit earlier than we anticipated, but the good news is it should move through rather quickly. Here's seven o'clock Friday morning Eastern. You can see right over Terre Haute, so expect a little bit of snow for the morning commute tomorrow. I'm thinking less than a half inch in terms of new snowfall, not a big snowfall by any means, but just enough to make tra travel tricky tomorrow morning, and we'll keep an eye on that. Then as we get through our Friday, a little wraparound snow possibility for Friday afternoon. Then after that, clearing, but temperatures sinking as we get into the weekend. So for today, 24 partly cloudy and not as cold, and then your seven-day forecast, that 40% chance of snow tomorrow happening early in the morning, but then 18 on Saturday, some chilly overnight lows, and then temperatures look to rebound a little bit more average for this time of the year into the middle of next week. Let's look at your seven-day forecast.